common sense practically applied with self-honesty will show one the points that is required to change a world system. Will there be pain? Yes, for some of the rich they will actually have to do something to get something. They will no longer be able to manipulate to get everything. Yes, there will be a difference for the poor because suddenly they will have something that they never had. So they might overdo it in the beginning. You know? I mean, if you can suddenly have, uh, if you can suddenly have access to what you could never have, initially you overindulge a little bit. But soon, when the sickness of overindulgence, you get to a point of equilibrium. Within this all, we have to consider the following interesting point. And one must consider that this has, must have a definitive effect eventually. Is that when you die, what is certain? You are no longer here in this reality. And you no longer have access to this reality. And everything that you have been in this reality no longer exists. Because if it did exist, when you were born, you would have remembered it. But when you are born, you remember nothing. There is that which you can call an afterlife. We have found such a place. But it is disturbing in its nature. Because what is left of a human after death is rather limited. I would advise you to consider that there is a consequence for every single thought you have. This is in all religions. There is a consequence for every deed. And there is a consequence for every word. And there is a consequence for everything you don't do. And there is a consequence for everything you accept and allow in this world. And that consequence is that what you allow, you become. So if you exist in separation with other beings that is coming from the same source of life, you diminish equal to the amount of separation that you are existing in. So that at death, only your diminished part will pass over. And you will have to come back to this reality to find the part you have left behind. <coughs> to consider all life, which is in everything that exists in this reality, equally, is a common sense suggestion. You can equate it scientifically, you can equate it mathematically, you can equate it in every known way. As long as you stay out of your imaginary world where there is some fucker called God, or some thing called divinity, there is no such divinity. You are actually creating this world yourself, instantaneously, as who you are as the physical part of you. That determines what actually happened. The actual space-time actions, the things you really participate in, the things you really don't do, the things you really allow, the things you really accept, like masturbation, sex, sport, all the things you really do, those things are really happening. The things that's happening in your imaginary world, have a look. They don't happen. Very seldom do they. That is where the secret now is attempting to bring some of those points forth without understanding that the secret has always been here. It's just a money-making game without a practical solution for all life on earth. You participate in the secret. I mean, you're just a thief. Nothing else. You are not considering life equal in one. You are not considering love. Love means to consider all life equally. If you do not consider all life equally with a practical solution for everything that is in this reality in physical form, you do not love. You are deceiving yourself and everyone else.
the only point where love can exist. Go and read about love and see what it means practically in this world. Do not profess something that you are not actually standing up for and living. Stop worrying about what's happening with those that make decisions and start to change your reality where you are. Make a difference within it. Stand up. They're the same as you. They're only getting away with it because they make you believe in your imaginary reality that they are more than you. They use what for that? Television. Education. Dumbing you down to believe that apparently the leaders are wonderful. The rich and the elite because of their education and what they own is wonderful. Do they really own anything? It all belongs to the earth. Every resource, every piece of land belongs to the earth. Exactly the same substance you are made of. Earth. Everything belongs to the earth. Nobody can take it away from the earth. You can try. All the oaks that own everything, they're all going to die. And it's all just going to stay here. They can't take it with them. Realize. You need one point of agreement in this reality. To bring forth a new reality. I suggest that we consider that point to be the earth. That everything that's off the earth be regarded as equal and be available for all as equal. And that everything that is life within and as the earth that come forth from it be regarded as equal in how it is supported by the resources the earth provides. That's a basic law that is already written in the very way that this existence exists. The laws we've created, they are all part of our imagination. They are not real. We can stop those laws in a moment. But we cannot stop the law that actually manifests this reality. The physical law of the earth. The physical law of the breath that builds our body. The physical reality that we need to eat, that we need shelter. We can't change that. That all comes from the earth. That law is written by the earth. That law is written by our limitation. That limitation is absolutely worthy if we look at our morality. We need a limitation because we are immoral beings. We do not care about life. We do not care about love. We do not care about anyone else but ourselves.